Hello yogis, it's me Brett and today we're doing a beautiful vinyasa heart opening flow to be the healing power of love in our own bodies. And we're gonna finish with a beautiful moving meditation. Make sure to like and subscribe if you wanna keep these weekly videos coming to you and leave me a comment once you've finished class, say namaste and let me know if your heart chakra feels wide open. Let's get on the mat. To begin, come to a cross-legged seat. You can sit up on a cushion if that feels good or any seated position if you wanna sit on the heels if that feels better. We're gonna start with lotus mudra at the heart. So pinky fingers and thumbs touch right at the heart center. Close your eyes and just take a moment to set an intention for this practice. Maybe feeling your heart space swell Sensing in to the four corners of the heart, the top, and the bottom, and the left and the right. And this mudra in front of the heart as an amplifier to the loving energy that's already naturally present in this area of the body. In order to give from an open heart, we must feel grounded first. So sense the sits bones rooting down. Let gravity have your lower body. Take a moment more here to just set any personal intention for you. What's your intention for this class? It could be a word like relax or open. Or maybe it's something more specific. Sensing that swelling light at the lotus mudra at your heart. And once you've set that intention, you can gently blink open the eyes. Slowly come to an all fours position. Shoulders over wrists, hips over knees. Finding your table pose. Begin to move through cat-cow in a way that feels super nourishing for you. Maybe bending the elbows, widening the collarbones. Exhale, rounding, high C-curve with the low spine. Maybe taking the seat really close to your heels. And then as soon as you've got the motion, close your eyes. Inhale, maybe you wanna roll the shoulders, curl the toes under, open up into your cow. Exhale, pressing into the knuckles. Maybe yearning the seat towards the heels for cat, chin into chest. Start to flow with your cat cow, however feels good for you. Maybe inviting in this sensation of rocking forward and back, even in each movement. So rocking a little bit and you're cat and even in your cow maybe just taking a moment to push the seat back and forward only if this feels good to you close your eyes and do your own thing your last one press back into downward facing dog stretch out the back of the legs spread the fingers press down through the knuckles slowly walk the feet and the hands towards one another no rush feet hip width apart parallel hold opposite elbows and sway Bend the knees deeply, chin into chest. 
back of neck is long. See if you can sway side to side and find more length, getting longer out of your low back. <sighs> Maybe sigh out the mouth. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold, bend the knees deeply. Inhale, circle the arms down, around and up. Exhale, hands through prayer at center. Surya Namaskar A. Inhale, circle the arms down, around and up. Exhale, bend the knees generously to fold. Inhale, half lift. Draw the shoulder blades back. Exhale, step back, plank. You can take the knees down or lower all the way down to the floor in one straight line. Baby cobra. Kneecaps lift off the mat. Elbows squeeze together, hands under the shoulders. Take three breaths here. Maybe test that you're really using your low back strength by lifting your hands off the mat. Kneecaps lift. Good. Exhale through a child's pose. Maybe you want to move the hips a little side to side. And then into downward facing dog. Mm -mm. Pedal through the legs, step the left foot forward, the right foot forward, or you can stroll to the top of the mat if that works better. Inhale, half lift, exhale, melts. Hands slide down the backs of the calves. Inhale, circle the arms down, around and up. Exhale, let's fold forward. So bend the knees generously, coming right back down. Weight in the balls of the feet. Inhale, half lift. Telescope the spine longer out of the pelvic bowl. Squeeze the shoulder blades. Exhale, step back. Your choice. Plank, chaturanga, or if you want to stay with cobra, or skip this and just meet us in downward facing dog, whatever works for you. I'll listen to your heart. Right leg yawns high to the sky. Bend the knees, stack the hips. Try to keep the shoulders square. Exhale, draw knee to nose. You can always carry the leg if you need to. We're coming into a low lunge, so let the left knee melt on the mat. Bring both hands to the chest, and then just your left hand is gonna stay on the heart. The right hand is gonna make this mudra, finger, uh, I think two first two fingers under the thumb, straight up. And here it's like you're a beacon for love. You can arch back a little, squeeze the thighs together if it feels good. Just close your eyes. Feel into this shape. Exhale, hands frame the foot. Step back, plank. You can hold downward facing dog. Pressing back into down dog. I'll move through chaturanga if that's part of your practice and you like those extra little push-ups let's take that on the other side left hand or left leg rather reaches long bend the knees stack the hips drop the left shoulder to the mat big inhale here exhale left knee to nose step or you can carry the left foot forward right knee melts down this time Coming in, second side, right hand to heart. This time, left hand has our mudra up. I believe in the healing power of love. Feel that nice stretch in the front of the thigh. Still engaging some energy between the legs, inner thighs squeezing together. One more big breath. Exhale, hands frame the foot. Step back, plank, your choice, chaturanga. Just pressing back to downward facing dog. Tune into your breath, tune into your body. Walk the hands to the back of the mat so your hands are walking to meet your toes. Make sure your feet are hip width apart. Find that clasp opposite elbows again. So holding opposite elbows, this time let's have our sway come into a sundial pose so we can open the sides of the rib cage. Super important in any heart opening practice. So right elbow connects with right knee. It's like you're coming up through a side bend. So it's like you're between two panes of glass. Leaning back. 
navel to spine, and then exhale, left elbow to left knee, coming down between two panes of glass, rounding forward, weight in the balls of the feet, and rotating like this. So the more that you yearn the top elbow back, the better the side stretch is gonna be. So when we're opening the heart, we can't just back bend. We need to find the back gate of the heart. We need to open the side body, the intercostal muscles, the rib cage protecting the heart, our heart's armor at the top, reverse direction, getting taller, melting down, just letting this feel really good. After your last one, you can hang, place the hands on the mat and walk yourself back into downward facing dog. Let's do that again. Left leg reaches high to the sky, bend the knees, stack the hips. Exhale, knee to nose, carrying the right foot forward. And left knee comes to the back of the mat. Once again, one hand on heart. Little mudra up, holding the first two fingers down. I believe in the healing power of love. Showing off your heart, your chest. This time let's find a little bow over the front leg. So this can look however you want, whatever feels good for you. Finding length in the spine. And then a little bow or sigh out the mouth. Good. Rebend the leg. Step back, downward facing dog, left leg, yawns up to the sky, bend the knees, stack the hips. The left shoulder rotates down. Inhale, take the knee higher. Exhale, left knee to nose. This time right foot sinks to the ground. Mm, left hand on the heart, right hand in our mudra. I believe in the healing power of love. And breathing that in, imprinting it. Exhale, fold over the leg this time, flexing the toes back, making any adjustments so that this can feel good for you. Inhale, long spine. Exhale, melt. Good, one more breath, getting long. Exhale, fold. Good, rebend into the left knee, curl the back toes under. Step back, downward facing dog. Step the right foot forward all the way to the top of the mat. You can carry it if you need to. Left foot forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Breathe in, circle the arms down, around and up. Exhale, hands to prayer at heart center. Take a moment to just listen to your heartbeat. Catch your breath, be fully present for yourself, rock your weight forward and back on the feet. Mm, last time, inhale, circle the arms up. Exhale, bend the knees generously to fold. Inhale, half lift. Listen carefully, exhale, left foot steps back, left knee to the mat. So we're in a low lunge again, a little different this time. Inhale, reach up, exhale, hands clasp behind the back. If that doesn't work for you, just take the hands to the hips, squeeze the elbows together. It's the same thing, right? We're just rolling and presenting the heart to the ceiling. If you have the fists, send the fists away from your seat. So towards the back of your mat, squeeze the inner thighs together. One more huge breath here. Exhale, hands frame the foot. Step back, your choice plank, chaturanga, up dog, or just press back, downward facing dog. Mm, whatever you chose, take a moment in dog, reconnect with yourself. See if at the bottom of the exhalation, you can tune in to the beating of your heart. Step or carry the left foot forward. Melt the right knee to the ground. Inhale, reach up. 
exhale, clasp the hands behind the low back, opposite interlacing this time, or hands to the hips, whatever is gonna work for you. And present your heart to the ceiling, your alive, radiant, beating heart. Inner thighs squeeze together. Slow your breathing down. Last breath. Amazing, hands frame the foot. Let's all step back to downward facing dog, pedal through the legs. If you like, you can lift up onto the tippy toes and set your heels over to the left. A little stretch for the side body. Inhaling to the tippy toes and setting your heels to the right. Inhaling to the tippy toes and finding neutral. Slowly recalibrate the breath. Slowly lower your knees to the floor. If you want to fold your mat over to create some padding for the knees or put a blanket underneath the knees, I invite you to do that now so your knees have some support. Seated on the heels, we're going to inhale, take your right arm up and back and then turn the fingertips in so it's facing your foot. It should feel like a nice shoulder stretch here opening the heart and then the left arm is up in a little bit of like a salute to love and you have the heart really exposed core in navel pulls back and just breathe here maybe you feel a stretch in the wrist or a stretch in the shoulder broadening across the heart and see if you can sense here drinking in energy from your heart and inviting whatever it is you want to receive in this salute, just being here, being receptive, present for it. Pull navel to spine, slowly come up. Playing with this on the other side, so this time left arm up and around, big opening, fingertips point inward. Right arm lifts. You can really bend the elbow of that back arm. Just melt into this opening. And let your whole body here to just get softer. This might not look like a lot to someone walking by, but it's actually a lot of work here. You're engaging the core. You're opening the chest, stretching the wrist, thinking of the heart shining open. One more big breath. Navel to spine, use your hand to press up. Whew, just noticing how you feel. If you want, you can roll the shoulders. So you're gonna have two options now to either do that again, or if you padded the knees and you are experienced with camel moving into camel so holding on to the heel so we'll start holding with the left hand and reaching the right arm up mm. lengthening the tailbone down hip points yearning up deep breath in Lowering the seat to the heels, noticing how you feel, and coming into the other side, raising back up onto the knees, and reaching back with the left arm. If camel is not part of your practice, just staying and playing with the variation we did previously. Mm. If you're in this one-armed little mini camel, take the seat to the heels in your choice now. Stroke the thighs, 
exactly said and decide if you want to come into full camel or play just with one side each again. So up to you. Mm. If you're in full camel, really lengthening the tailbone down, levering the hips up. Slowing down your breath. See if you can tune in wherever you are to the beating of your heart. heels, setting up into a cross-legged seat for our meditation. Maybe you want to be up on a cushion. Oh, reach the arms forward, stretch out the low back from the back bend, rock side to side. Let this stretch feel really good. You can reach over. Send the chest over one knee. Move from side to side. Other knee. Move side to side. And then slowly coming upright. Just noticing if there's any little movements you want to make before we come into this uh, next posture. From here, keeping everything super soft, we're going to move into some kundalini side bends with a mantra. So what this looks like, and opening the side body is so important when we're focusing on opening the heart, because if the intercostal muscles are tight, uh, that's constricting and clamping down on this whole energetic center. So how this looks is you're just going to play, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. I'm sitting up on a cushion. This might feel better for you off a cushion. So you get to decide if you want to slip off the cushion. And now that we have the breath pattern, We'll add the mantra. So as you go to the left, your left, you're gonna say, I am. And to the right, saying to yourself, divine love. I am, you can think or say aloud, divine love as you move to the other side. So I am, to the left, reach. Divine love to the right reach. And just imprint this mantra, these stretches into your system. I am divine love. Maybe let a smile play across the lips as you do this. just a couple more. So if you've only just been saying or thinking it, see if for these last couple you can really feel it. That you are love. 
imprinting this softness into your nervous system. Now when you're ready, reach both arms up high in a wide V. Big breath in, hold the breath, and then slow exhale as you bring the palms to prayer at heart center, but in super slow motion. So it's just like you're guiding out from that wide V, super slow, till the palms barely touch in front of the heart, and then touch, just like we began with the tune in. Close your eyes, notice your energy. If you like, you can take the palms now face down on the thighs. For our closing meditation, this one is so beautiful, I love it. This is called the ancient way of prayer in the Kundalini Yoga system. Elbows are alongside the rib cage and I want you to have your fingers together, but see if you can think of your fingertips being slightly apart. So I know that sounds a little funky, but I find when I just visualize that, it's a little trick, like my fingers are together, but my fingertips are slightly apart. It helps me tune into the energy, and this is a very receptive mudra. So receptive, and it's also like we have a light shield, like a cone, that's just reflecting energy back up into your heart. So find this position. We're just doing long, slow, deep breathing and working with the mantra said and recited internally, I am divine love embodied. We're gonna be here for three and a half minutes. I am divine love embodied. Thinking it, imprinting it, Slowing down the breath as much as possible. An option if you are comfortable with suspending the breath a little bit at the end of the exhale, I invite you to hold the breath out of the body after you exhale and just tune into your heartbeat. See if you can sense your heart beating before you breathe in again. You'll inhale, slow exhale. Hold the breath out at the end of the exhale, only if that works for you, tuning into the beating of your heart. And then inhaling again. Thinking, feeling, I am divine love embodied. Two breaths. On your next breath, I want you to take the deepest inhale possible. Exhale fully and slowly. Hold the breath out at the end of the exhale. Lift the pelvic floor, sense the heart beating. Sense the energy in your palms beaming up to your heart. Keep the mantra, keep everything in the mudra where you are, just exhale. And now so super slow, 
You'll slowly move the hands towards your heart center. Keep your eyes closed. We're just slowly moving towards taking the right palm to the chest and the left palm on top. Sealing in the energy you've generated with this practice, with the palms pressing on the chest. Notice how you feel, notice the energy around your body. You can stay here with the hands pressing into the chest. You could come into a meditation with the index finger and thumb, Gaya Mudra, or come to lie down in Shavasana, whatever is feeling right for you right now. Stay here as long as you can. Imprint this energy. Really give yourself some time now to download it into your system as long as you can. And I will close our time together with a long sat, short nam. Just receive it. Sa. divine love embodied. Namaste. I would love to stay in touch with you over on my podcast, the Uplifted Yoga Podcast. You can listen on iTunes and Spotify to go deeper into everything we're exploring on the mat. From my heart to yours, namaste.